watch your step around these tiny terrors. Fire ants are extremely aggressive, violent, and attack in swarms. That's enough! Biting and stinging you repeatedly and leaving intense burning pain and welts. Isn't that nasty? Unleashing the wrath of a colony can have deadly outcomes. Undisturbed colonies can have up to 10,000 worker ants after a single year. And by the third year, that number can rapidly rise to an astounding 500,000. If just a single frontline ant feels threatened, you could be in for a world of hurt. Any disturbance to their mound or the ground around it will unleash a fury of these militant ants. Flooding the closest body part, they bite into the skin using their mandibles or jaws. Now that they're anchored in, they use their stinger repeatedly, often in a circular pattern to inject a venom called solenopsin. Thanks to the venom's alkaloid nature, it causes necrotoxic activity that kills the tissue cells of its victims, also leaving them with a painful burning sensation. Now imagine a whole colony ruthlessly attacking you at once. Post ambush, you'll notice itchy red bumps on your skin. Blisters will develop after a few hours. Within a day, they will fill with pus and leave welts. Other chemicals in the venom can trigger allergic reactions in some people. Although rare, this can lead to anaphylactic shock, with symptoms including dizziness, a drop in blood pressure, and cardiac arrest. Others may experience an upset stomach and difficulty breathing and swallowing. If stung by a large number of ants, it can be fatal. They've even been known to kill small animals when attacking as a group. There are two types of fire ant colonies, and they are genetically distinct, single queen and multiple queen. In the single queen colonies, worker ants are slightly larger. They're scattered across as many as 150 mounds per acre. Multi-queen workers are slightly smaller and can have up to 100 queens per colony. They move freely between queens and mounds to share resources. They're able to produce over 300 mounds per acre. Researchers think the ants evolved into multi-queen from single-queen colonies as a way to preserve their existence. They can dig tunnels up to 1.5 meters deep and mounds up to 40 centimeters high. They'll even set up shop around the foundation of homes and buildings. But because fire ants prefer to build their mounds in warm areas with moist soil, it's common to find them near rivers and streams, since food sources are most plentiful here. If flooding becomes an issue, multi-queen colonies have a better chance of survival. If a mound is wiped out, they can rebuild it within a day. They're also capable of withstanding temperatures of minus 12 degrees Celsius for two weeks before the entire colony would die off. That's why they've been able to spread to more northern states and lower parts of Canada. These pests are considered invasive species. The United States Food and Drug Administration estimates Americans spend $5 billion each year on medical treatment, damage repair, and keeping them under control. So besides doing a number on our skin, they hit our wallets as well. There are other bugs out there that can inflict much more discomfort. You have to check out our video on the top five most painful insect stings. It will not disappoint protecting their homes and injecting intruders with toxic venom is what fire ants do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.